Hey, hey, baby. Ooh. Oh, I want to know. Oh. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh. Oh, I want to know. Oh, I feel good. Oh, God. Say what you want about him, but he is quite the fabulous orgasmer, isn't he? I mean, God. I haven't heard anything like it since Bruce Hall in 1985. <laughs> or oh, Gary Einstein in 97. Oh, what a naughty night that was. <laughs> oh, and how could I forget Chantel? Oh, back in 2013, a recent one for me. <laughs> Just joking. What a night that was. She was spurting like a fountain all over the hotel room. I had to make up an excuse that we had an overflowing bath for the spillage coming through the ceiling below. <laughs> what a night. Oh lord, oh lord, make me strong. Because it's taking too long. Oh lord, make me strong. Cause it's taking too long for this one to come home. Oh, Lord, make me strong. Cause it's taking too long for this one to come. Oh, God, what an orgasmic setting. Oh, Lord, I love what you've done with the boobay sheep. Yes. Oh, oh, oh no! How could you tell? Oh, oh, oh Lord, make me strong because it hurts to calm this heart. Oh, 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 Lord, make me strong. Oh, oh, Bill. Oh, Rodney. Oh, Jamie. Oh, 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 Damien. God. We do ask the Lord to make you strong because it hurts to come. Oh, God. What is happening to me? I see. Should you know, break into song? It's powerful. I think the bit when he's reaching a new level of gay is where the song should be brought in. You know, that's when he should break in a song. Deep gayness, gayness through the anus. Get out, get out of my ass. You know, strong enough to fuck. Anus through the anus. Get out, get out of my ass. Anus through the anus. Get out. Oh, oh my God! Anus, the anus. Come and get out! Get out of my God! Anus, the anus. Get out of my God! Anus, through the anus. He's wearing a gay outfit. Get out of my God! Did you get for my taste or something? And I thought, not gay enough. Oh, I wish you guys two things I would do. 
<laughs> Nobody has ever seen the power of a man's game. Never this sleep before. <laughs> now, brought to your home, everybody's home that has a man or a woman. I do not discriminate on oh, everything in between. A man so, so passionate about orgasms. Oh! That he has never, ever been topped by anything on this earth! People are yet to see the power of the gayest man alive! When I walk down the streets, you will see the gayest selfie you have ever seen! And you will know right then and there that you are in the presence of a true, true... Deeply gay transsexual. If the boys on the leashes don't already give it away. <laughs> bravo, bravo, my kingdom for a toe. I'm the gayest boy in the hood. Suck his dick till the fucking cum. Suck on my penis till the fucking numb. Fuck you, bitch. I'll make you cum. What you gonna do? I'll shove it up your bum. Guess I'm gay as fuck. You fucking know. I'm gay as fuck. I'll suck your toe. So gay, I'm wondering if you'd like to suck my dick. Ah, I'm so gay, I'm wondering if you'd like to suck all my penis and balls. I'm so gay, I'm wondering if you want to suck my penis and balls. I don't just... Being the gayest man alive, nobody can, nobody can know. You know how it feels growing up with the gayest man alive? My early years were quite, quite the tragedy. You see, when I had, I got a girlfriend at the age of, the sweet age of 16. I got a girlfriend. Just so I could steal her clothes and dress up like her. I pretended to be Britney for two and a half years. Until one day, she came home early from work <coughs> with another man. She didn't know I was in her house. How could she? And if that wasn't embarrassing enough... She comes upstairs. I hide in a closet. <clears throat> and have to listen to the whole thing. But see, the thing for me was... It wasn't that bad. Because when he finally... When he finally ejaculated... The big roar... The big roar... Of Billy Tundra... Coming... All oh, in my woman was the sexiest thing that I'd ever seen. And I came and swelled. No! Oh, 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 God. How could I have done this? And when I came, I came so loud. They immediately looked. They looked at the wardrobe. And there I was. Too busy dressed, draped from head to toe in her clothes. Covered in my own semen. And about to get the fuck kicked out of me by a big, sexy, black man. Oh my god, did I. I'd be lying to you if I did say that I didn't come at least two more times as he was beating my ass. Oh, God. I mean, come a little closer, darling, so I can literally die inside you. Mm. Oh, yes. About to go to sleep, darling, so hopefully I have the gayest dream ever. Wish me luck on having the gayest dream ever. Oh my god, even if I could just have a flashback to Damien's strong, sturdy, thick, fuck, glistening, popping, throbbing, hard piece of man iron, dribbling and draining its lemonade all 
over and inside me and deep inside my mouth, filling my mouth like a big, big lemonade, fucking big lemonade, a big lemonade, can't get a all you can eat breakfast, and that'll be enough for me. <laughs> oh, and a bit of Chantel. You see, that was, that was shit. Right? You can tell something's off about you there because you broke character for a second. The ghost man alive. He does not break fucking character, right? Come on. It was a warm summer's day. If you don't know already, things can get pretty serious on a warm summer's day. Oh, see, the size of your cock isn't the only thing that matters, but it certainly helps a lot. <laughs> but here, let me ease you with a nice, relaxing massage. Oh, yes. You've got so many knots. Hmm. Any more knots, we could put you in for a scout badge. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'd love to see you in a skyboy uniform. Maybe we should. <laughs> oh, behave, Damien. Behave. Damien's a nickname of mine. For when I get a little naughty. <laughs> oh, yes. I miss my ex. And I will fight till I die. Because of it, I've got overlapping tendons. Not fun. What a gay surprise! <laughs> Let him in! Darling, I was the one they started conversion therapy for. Because I turned them all gay. <laughs> Darling, I was the person they started conversion. Darling, I was the person they started conversion therapy for. Because I turned them all gay. <laughs> Darling, you have seen nothing of the gay side. Only what we choose to show you. Darling, before me, there was no gays. Only men seeking out what they didn't know they wanted. City, 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 city! You either part of the city, or you part of the death squad. Darling, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Darling, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know how this has happened. I can hardly be straight. A man with three quarters of an inch of dick and dick and a dislike to me. I can hear them talking. What have I done to offend them? I never consciously offended me like this. Oh my god. What the hell is that? It looks even gayer than you. That's impossible. I know. Oh, I have all these cocks. The cocks go cum, cum, cum. If I jerk the cock in the middle, it will come over me. Oh, jerk, 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 jerk. Picking up the speed. If I let him fuck me in the ass, my ass will start to bleed. I have potato getting sweet. And if I have potato and I never did it, did it gay and sweet. It's the song. Maybe like the moons and turn the lights down low. Got a feeling for it soft and slow. I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be a man. <coughs> oh. Maybe like the doors and turn the lights down low. Got a feeling for it soft and slow. I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be your man. Oh, how much it turns me on. Oh my, I just love. Oh, Sean. One of my first gay encounters back in 1947. Just joking. <laughs> it's a rumor that I began at the dawn of time. Oh, quite a sight. Mm. Well, one second, let me take your jacket off. Mm. That is a strong musk you have there. Oh, how orgasmic. Well, I mean, 
Your beautiful lady is quite the sight as well. Oh, what a sight. I've got a funny feeling we will have a wonderful night. Oh, what a night. Fun to, to watch, watch you try. try. It may take you a thousand years. Party, Party like, like it's 2006. 2006. Oh, yeah. Quite alright. Gay and lady cats. You need oh, people right. to buy a stuff. Quite alright. It looks like you don't have me and enough. Kate's boyfriend sending you must that put your gay credit card. Of me and Could him, like Freddy and made it hard. <laughs> Relax, darling. I'm just her gay friend. I mean, you're quite the sight yourself, aren't you, boy? Oh, big strong arms. Oh, I'd fight you just to be wrapped in them. Oh, Lord. You know, I could take you to the ground, smother you, or I could put you on top of me. <laughs> oh, you see. Wow. Oh, calm it, darling. I'm just her gay friend. Um, you're a big boy, aren't you? Mmm, yes you are. Oh, how I love you to hold me in those big, strong arms of yours. Oh, I'd fight you just to be wrapped inside of them. Oh, maybe we should get in a cage. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I'd take you down just to wrap you on my legs and smother you. Have you smelled my manly musk? Anyway, enough of the fantasy, darling. How about me and you? Go on a double date. Yeah. Presumably you bring Kate and, well, I bring whatever I want to bring. Sound good? Because it should. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Just thinking about it all oh, makes me so excited. I'll make sure you tell her. <clears throat> good morning, Starshine. Earth says hello. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah! Oh! Oh, I'm alive to have you in my arms, big boy. I don't know whether to rip the tattoo off or come on it. Oh. Hopefully it doesn't fade after a thousand licks. Mm. Hey, hey, you want to roll up, roll up? You want to join my club? Yeah, fuck you is rule number one. Rule number two. <laughs> well... Yes. Oh, don't stop now, boy. I can almost taste you across the messages. Oh, baby, please, come on. I need a little oh, taste of you and smell of you and your girl again. Oh. Oh, damn all. You will not stop torturing us there. I tell you, stop. Stop torturing us there. What are you doing? No! No! Demo, stop now! Not allowed! That is not allowed! Seriously, no! No! Stop! No! Oh. My face is so hard! Let me come! Oh! Let me come! Ah! Stop! Oh! Bumping! Ah! The lies of the city walls is falling. The broken hysteria, the gay and the mysteria, coming together, cultivating as one. Oh, the walls are not breaking, the storms that are shaking. Now a man that we're feeding are known to be bleeding. See it before and I will keel on my knees. Bend over and take it like a good little boy. For you and your strong arms and your gorgeous tattoo, I will lick your girl from head to toe in front of you. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, I do not wish to entertain the grizzly boy who stays in his room all day, really farting and wanking. Hmm. Until he has a shower, he cannot be seen by any of mine or any of his. It's a big difference between men like me and garlic mayo lovers. <laughs> Just joking. I am the biggest garlic mayo eater alive. 
You've seen me before on your TV screens. Now I am in your ears. What else might I get in myself into? Oh. <laughs> People say I lost my touch in 74, but wow, have I proven them wrong. Quick, somebody stop the thieving boy with a gargantuan bulge in his pockets. Oh, Lord. Please, somebody stop him. Bring him to me. Oh, yes. On the fabulous woman with fries on the sides has to speak with unmetrical looking dregs. Because how sex costs two million in public damages. And a high sexual escalator hell of a... Put his club down instead and compared to the Eisenberger Tower of 85. I was only 15 when they got the rest of these orgies since the orgy of Berlin in 1945. After the first second world war, why might you make it only hope to reach its greatness? Wasn't that the start of our journey? Yes. Biggest only don't really hear the rest. The biggest orgy since the orgy of Berlin in 1945. After the first second world war, why might you make it only hope to reach its greatness? But wasn't that the start of our journey? Yes. Oh, come on, get ahead. Grab my tosi. Come on, get ahead. Grab my iron skirt of ribbon, soft, soft. Come on, Galahad. Grab it, we need to escape. Oh, please. Oh, not there, maybe. Keep a hold of that. Oh, just no, Galahad, keep a hold of that for another five seconds. Oh, oh, Galahad. Oh, wow, oh, Galahad. I haven't come like that since last Tuesday. Oh, Galahad. Oh, only wise and wife were killing. Only one teen more. Should add some music to this. Add some music to this birthday sub. The gay maestro can take over. Very profitable character can sponsor all kinds of things. Everyone wants to be on side of the gays. The lesbians, which are also gay, the transsexuals, the bisexuals, and everything in between. This can be a sponsor. The Game Maestro is an amazing business model, and everyone gets... Mm, you don't like it? Well, let me try and seduce you, baby boy. Or girl. Mm, because you can't resist the gayest man alive. To be quiet, I don't want to wake the boys before I have my fun. That's not a joke. They are consenting to it. They... Trust me. They are. I couldn't help but think of the injuries of 1935's <laughs> Fresh Doll Rally in Berlin. That's shit. You see that? That's he's lost his touch. He's go get a better footage. Uh, talk about the damages and stuff. And that's what he used to do. So <laughs> when the game master was doing that, he was, he was hung over and come down. He just wasn't funny. He wasn't the same likable guy he once knew. Um, he had to come back with the songs, he had to come back with actual comedy, he had to come back feeling it, giving the energy he once used to, because at the minute it just it was just shit. You know, the people weren't like, even the die-hard uh, Game Maestro fans, they just weren't, f they, you know, they're fans of Game Maestro, but they're not, they're not fans of him when he's just dribbling out a bunch of shit, you know. 
they, they like him, but it, they're no longer entertained. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, your family can love you, but they don't. They, can't, they don't have to be entertained by you. You guys, he wasn't this point. This was a dark time for Game Master. Um, he was he was only getting sex like you know once a day, um, and usually for a woman. So he he was in a dark match at this point. Very dark match. He, he had a, he was often getting you know one piece a week. For someone whose whole person, you know, there's more to Game Master than just sex. Believe it or not, right? But someone whose personality involves so heavily on pressure. As he, was, as he would say, um, he needs this, this sexual basis to his, his life. You know, he needs to have that pleasure from multiple partners whenever he wants you know, to really feel himself as a sex addict. Uh, to be honest, it's an absolute fucking real sex addict. And as glamorous as that might sound, that causes problems. So he really had to get, them. and that led um, that led him to a to a drug addiction. So when you're not getting, you know, your pleasure is orgasms. When you're not getting, when you're only getting, you know, orgasms from one person a day, that can lead to you not being fully fulfilled and satisfied. So you want to get your pleasure and euphoria elsewhere, and so he turned to drugs heavily. And they're already in the um, the orgy scene he was involved in. Oh, God, oh, you know, I'm no longer using the puppets for their traditional purpose, I'm using them for my own amusement, mm, and the nitrous oxide, yes. Play some clips of him on the nitrous, oh my God, imagine gay nitro's voice on nitrous oxide, that sounds fucking sick, <laughs> that's, so I gotta buy a canister of a fucking gay maestro now so we can try it out. Time I lie awake after every hit we take, every feeling that I get. Oh, but I haven't missed you yet. <laughs> Somebody stop that. That that's that's just shit. You know, he'd really lost it at this point, and it was the the point where his family didn't even want to hang around with him. You know, you can want to help somebody, but you can be scared to approach them. I mean, gay maestro takes all kinds of shapes and forms. I mean, that guy has, has I, I've seen him clear the floor with, yeah, jiu-jitsu fighters, boxers, trained martial artists, you know, with just basic training from a decade or two ago. He is a very scary man, woman, <laughs> trans man, trans woman. Yeah, he's fluid, you know, he's really, he's, he's not human, really, is he? When you see what that man can do, he's, I'm scared to even talk about it, I mean, he's something else, oh. I mean, that's just shit, that's a bunch of shit, get rid of this, this is shit. I, he needs to do more covers, I think that's what the people want, so, when he was going through this st tough stage, we wanted him to do covers, um, of popular songs and add his twist to them because you know we can hear him singing in the shower. His his dance moves are impeccable. We always say to record them. Everyone's trying to get a glimpse of the gay maestro. He's one of the most profitable people on the planet. I mean, who can really captivate a room like the gay maestro? You you listen. The gay maestro can walk in a room, right? And you say there's 50 people there, 30 men who are straight. <laughs> Right, and fuck it, 30 of them don't like him, right? By the end of that fucking little party, all 30 of them would be fucking begging to fuck his woman. <laughs> They'd be begging them to get fucked by the game master. He can seduce, he can seduce a fucking Darth Maul and a fucking teddy bear with pink 47 gin. That guy is... He's electric. He's almost like Johnny's ex, you know. He's fucking rude. You know, need you back, baby. No, no, I promise. I, I was just gonna have to. I was just gonna have the beers and then then leave the car at McDonald's, you know. Really? It's not being sent in chat. Do you want me to bring the chat up? You can drive my car. It'll be funny. 
I can drink in the passenger seat while you drive my car. I, I, I didn't mean it, you know. I said, but why are you here? This is more than Chad. This is showing up. You see how this looks, John. Yeah. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to see that side of me. I don't want you to see that side of me. Little song I came up with. Do you like it, darling? I don't feel like getting started. I don't feel like living retarded. I don't feel like doing it like. It's a lot of shit, dude. I don't feel like doing it with anybody else but you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Surprise attack. Oh. I hate everything about you. I hate everything about you. Don't ask me for psyches. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I still don't miss you yet. Only when I stop to think about it. Oh! I hate everything about you! Why do I love you? I hate everything about you! Why do I love you? Oh, 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 Oh. Is, that, is that your party trick? What, you can sing a song like a gay boy? Is that your party trick? Listen here, man. My party trick is a lot deeper and thicker than you can handle, boy. No. That is not my party trick. This is my party trick. You will take it and like it like a good little boy you are. Baby, I've been getting balls like my dick. It's over the whole back to song. Well, well, if Heaven had a phone line, you uh, singing the song wouldn't be the first person I would call. Because you're singing the song. But I don't think the question is addressed to me. I think it's addressed to a certain someone. Or it's just cool lyrics not written by the woman. Which isn't misogynistic. It's just written there that it's not written by the fucking woman, yeah? Got a problem with that? Because it's literally written that it's not. She, she ain't claiming it's fucking written by her, yeah? You got that? But yeah, if I had a... Yeah, uh, I would still call her. I'd, still, I, I'd say, <laughs> why did you leave me? Actually, I know why. And I'm sorry. Yep. I may be dead now, but, you know, I'm not going to say you can kill yourself and meet me, but <clears throat> in the afterlife, we could be together. Yep. However, I, I don't really want, I want to think about all the men who fuck in that time. So until then, I'm going to get smacked out on drugs or something. If we're going to be together when you die. And I can be happy for fucking your whole lifetime while you do all your life bullshit. I can be on drugs. That would be my honest answer. That would be my honest answer, right? Now, some people who are immature and older and they throw about this maturity bullshit, right? Maturity. Well, definition of maturity being mature, fully grown mentally and physically, yeah? Um, but stick, stay away from that for a second. Being mature is realizing some things. One one way that someone can be mature is realizing some things just don't fucking matter as much as you, yeah, think they do. No, some things fucking don't. Okay. One being bullshit. Now bullshit, yes, it matters, but it doesn't matter nearly as much as bullshit people that think they're mature think it does. And they always underestimate how much shit like being rude to someone matters. If someone's rude to you, you're a human. You have, you have a fucking ego. You have a super ego. And it, you've, it fucking offends both of them, right? So if someone's rude to you, it affects you big time. Also, a lot of these middle class people in a relationship, yeah? Somebody's, a man's rude to you. Just walk away. What the fuck is your girl going to think of that if you just walk away? From a guy that's unarmed. And you don't even give a bit of back chat. 
She's gonna fucking think you're a pussy. Well, find a girl that doesn't think that- They all fucking think that, you fucking moron! Now, you may have fucking learnt this shit to cope with your fucking wife, or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, women don't need a huge dick. Women don't need a fucking strong guy who fucks them good. Yeah, 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 you tell yourself this bullshit to cope with yourself being shit, but you're just feeding into your fucking delusion. It obviously fucking does matter. Well, my wife says it doesn't matter. Of course she fucking does, because it's to you, you stupid cunt. She, oh yeah, you think she doesn't want to get fucked good? I mean, fuck's sake, man. The shit you fucking condition yourself to believe to be fucking coping with yourself is fucking ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> My straight side came out of me. Oh, ooh, and not in a good way. In a fucking excellent way. Oh. I was walking down the corridor, I said, Look, I'm not that gay. I don't smoke that way, and if I did, boy, you wouldn't be here to stay. Took one look at me and said, Man, you ain't gay. You're the gayest guy I've ever seen. Fuck, you don't swing that way. I said, Oh, well, how could you tell? He said, Well, for starters, you've got a leather jacket on, with the arms cut off, and you've got some leather pants showing, and no legs about. You've got nothing over your legs, all you've got is a couple of cum stains running down your cheeks, and they ain't yours unless your dick's as big as Danny D's, because your dick can't- well, this is a bunch of shit. Right, so when the game master does that, he does a bunch of shit, wait a second. <coughs> oh. Took one step down the corridor and said, You don't swing that way? I said, Look, man, I don't swing that way. I am not that gay. And then he took one look at me, and all he could muster up was, Oh, not that gay. Man, if you, you don't swing that way, man, you look like the gayest thing that I've ever seen. I said, How dare you call me gay? I am quite the opposite. He took another look down and saw there was cum on my blouse. It doesn't even rhyme, but it's a true story. I was trying to avoid them, but I took one look, one long look, and I was frisk fried. Nathan, I think his name is, he said he didn't wear it. He said it's the gayest costume alive. I said, no, I found the gayest costume for you, and you will this way. Oh, but how, how, how could you be so mean? I am not gay. <laughs> Listen. I'm drunk, I'm feeling gay. And I just want a dick in my ass. Good old gay, since you come around, why don't you stick it in? Cause I wanna be drowning your cum shots. And I wanna get fucked in the ass. You're me in your dick. I wanna be slapped. Oh. Tear my ass open. Come in my bum. My weakness is I like it real good. And the scars remind me that I like it rough. Fuck my asshole <laughs> just to fail. I'm drunk and I'm feeling gay. And I just want a dick in my ass. Been all gay since you come around. Why don't you stick it in? Been all gay since you fucked my dog. <laughs> I'm with the boys in the little tiny skirts at the side of the tennis match. Make it hard for me to contain myself. Although, oh, while they found out their age, I am a perfectly law abiding man. And they weren't gonna perform any sexual acts for me. Cause they were only 16. <laughs> Fooled you boys, of course. The tennis boys, back in the 1980s, were all, you know, no, well, at least I looked older. Back in 85, I was a tennis boy. And oh, did I love to smell those sweaty balls after they had been held in the hands of the tennis players. And I also like the smell of the tennis balls. <laughs> oh, oh god. Sometimes it's hard to sleep at night, knowing what I've done. But if it makes it easier, I'm usually with two men, and they make me feel a lot more at ease. Two men and two women. Chantal and Brittany. Not my first Brittany, unfortunately. 
I would love to have her back. So she could bring that big black sexy man to beat my ass again. Well, since you're all here, let me tell you some fabulous news about Bruce Hall. <clears throat> First time I saw Bruce Hall orgasm, oh, so a key hole in Amsterdam. Oh, what a night. What a night. First of all, first time I saw Bruce Hall, I saw Bruce Hall come live through a keyhole in Amsterdam. What a night. Back at the Circus Olay freak show night, if you know what I mean. A little bit of dirty dancing. By dirty dancing, I mean men that haven't watched in three days. Yes. Mm, taste. Add a bit of taste to it, yes. Well, this is the best night of my soul last year. It was last year when I had the threesome with Kai James. I fucking thought of that fucking cunt's name. Cunt! Since last year when I had the threesome with Gerald Carnes and Kai Jameson. What a night. Oh, and how could I forget Brandine? Mmm. Sounds a bit of a tranny. It was a bit of a tranny. What am I saying? A bit of a tranny was a whole load of a tranny, if you know what I mean. Oh, I love what he did with the bouvet sheets. Mm, Chantel's bouvet sheets were moving like a bison. <laughs> bison charging into a thousand Italian people. Not a racism thing. I'm the same race. God damn it. Charging into them a bull. Bull ride. Oh, did I tell you about the time I went down to Spain? <sighs> to see the men play with bulls. Or oh, see the bulls play with men. Yes. I went down and they said there was going to be a bull run. They were going to let some big steamy... I can't even say this on the YouTube, but you know what I was thinking. Some big steamy bull. Bull of a man, shall we say. And they're running down these streets trying to fucking horn me. And I have never been so turned on in my fucking life. And he finally is running towards me full steam ahead. My shoe buckles. I shouldn't have worn high heels for this. My shoe buckles on the Italian pebbles. And it buckles and I fall and twist my ankle. Help! Help me! I exclaim, but nobody listens. So I'm just a poor boy on the ground at this point. And there's this steam locomotive of a man charging towards me, ready to pin me with his horns. And I am just looking there in pure terror and pure sexual arousal. Oh, God. What a fucking exhilarating experience as his 300 pound man machine locomotive charges into me, scooping me with his horn straight through my flesh, picks me up by the rib and charges two miles with me on his pinned horn. And the rib was a metaphor for my pelvis and my, you know, God, I haven't jumped that hard since, since forever. Oh, two, two, oh, eleven inches of pole, man pole, charge into your, you know, you will never feel the same again. I mean, in the fucking game, like it up the ass. Yes, I am getting it today. We're going to the gay strip club. And no, I will not be performing. I will just be admiring and touching myself. What's wrong here with that back there behind your TV screen? Too gay for you? Haven't you seen how far liberals are going? I could be a whole lot more gay than this. Fuck me in a place like this. Check it all the way. No, oh, I've been to so many red hot chili peppers. I've smelt their breath and heard their warmth against me. Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters spat on me once and I came. Oh, I had an ex who loved it. It was our song. And when I heard that, the emotional distress paired with the disgusting spit on my face made me erupt. Oh, Tanikwa! Oh, dear God! Oh, 
Look who I am, oh man. Come in my mouth. My weakness hurts. I, I like it rough. Oh, I miss you, baby. Oh.